And this is the energy vibration reading for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful um, shares, likes, and shares. Um, this week is a week of judgment. It's a lot of water. It's a lot of emotion that is coming up. So be aware of this. Whatever the situation is, there's a lot of emotion, a lot of water energies that is coming up. So align with the energies and be aware of this. Okay. So um, uh, the weekends from the four until the team, um, the tent, and um, so um, you are really being aligned with certain energies now. As we look at um, the week, you begins with the energy of the Seven of Cups, so that's an emotional energy. Um, on um, the Tuesday is also an emotional energy. Wednesday, um, the Ace of Swords. You're so um, there. You young people like the kids um, between the ages of zero to eighteen is uh, going to be affecting a situation at home for you, Aquarians. Um, this could be a message that is also coming in. Um, okay, so be aware of this. The King of Swords, people 45 years and older, is also here, and the Seven of Swords is also here. Um, you, um, men, whoever you men are, the King of Swords, whoever you men of the Seven of Swords is here. So, the King of Swords, you men could have done something dishonest, and you are going to be caught. Okay, so we're going to be um, looking at the energies. So, there is some. Um, there was some worries where the worries isn't um, there anymore. Um, whoever you men are, this is not looking very well because it's as if you men, um, 45 years and older, is as if you're being watched, espionage, um, on the investigation, that sort of a thing. So you men, 45 years and older, you have been watched, espionage. Um, um, they realize that you have done something so you men 45 years and older you're being under surveillance okay uh some of you could be yeah you men 45 years and older is on the surveillance okay um you're not worried you're thinking okay yeah whatever do whatever you want to do so um uh, you, you know you, you you're not <laughs> some of you have nothing to worry about but some of you do have something to worry about so um, you know who you are so men 45 years and older you are on the surveillance whoever you are you know who you are so there you go Um, the weekend is the energy of hair and ones okay so in the weekends you're having the energy of hair and ones whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring we are looking at the weekend and we're going to be understanding and learning something about the weekend when fire and hair comes up now you are a ear sign so there is no problem there um, with that sort of a situation now some of you definitely are on the surveillance you men, um, you Aquarians, men, four to five years and older, you're on the Aquarians, uh, you're on the surveillance because they realize that you have done something. Okay, some deceptive move, whether it's you or against you, some of you are on the surveillance. Let's look and see what is coming up with the energy of the Seven of Cups in this week. Um, yeah. Uh, the eight of cups is here seven of cups eight of cups so it's going to be an emotional time that is coming in it's no question there is definitely going to be emotional time that is coming in for some of you some of you are dealing with um, up to be choosing and some of you needs to there's a lot of opportunities and some of you are going to be changing the career that is a definitely thing that some of you are going to decide I'm going um, on a new journey where you're going to be changing careers where you're going to be ending relationships or there's a lot of you who are going to be realizing that there is a lot of offers out there for you okay so um, um and re reward the ace of pentacles is here so some of you are going to be walking away from a job um and you are going to be paid off okay some of you are going to be walking away from a job uh, a situation and you're going to be paid off it's a really emotional situation um that has transpired okay but um this situation how bad it is 
um, it's good they're gonna be like paying you off because they realize the lies and deception um, that someone has done okay and this person could be the Queen of Cups so it could be the Queen of Cups a Pisces cancer or a scorpion lady who has done something or find out something or justice saw what she has done and um, what is going to be happening um, this is going to be opening up a lot of doors and a lot of opportunities for you the ace of Pentacles is here rewards and this is going to be working out for you so the Queen of Cups is here so um, let's see what is happening what is happening with the Queen of Cups for you guys there's going to be a judgment call over her okay so um, some of you are definitely dealing with this Queen of Cups and um, this Queen of Cups there is going to be a judgment call and judgment is the energy of the week also okay judgment is the energy of the week whoever this Queen of Cups is um, definitely there is a situation and judgment is going to be coming down on her whatever she has done um, information is going to be coming could be coming from her towards you or or you or hearing about something that the Queen of Cups has done judgment is coming down on her okay um, some of you this person could be a mother or a sister or um, she could be also a manager or that sort of a thing and um, what is happening is that she's calling out to you and we're going to see what the message is so it you know if it's a family member and that sort of a thing they could be um, giving you a message but if it is a situation where a lady that is a Pisces cancer or scorpion have done you some injustice now um, she's going to be find it out okay so here the magician come in and this is um yeah um definitely definitely for some of you whatever is happening with between you and this queen of cups it's like something if it's a family member you know they're going to be apologizing and something good is going to be happening because it's as if the universe is um balancing something that has gone wrong in past years and she's gonna be you know calling out to you and said you know something I did something I'm sorry and I'm trying to make it up back to you blah 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 and if it's a family member this is how it's going to be healed if it's someone like a sister-in-law or an ex sister-in-law or that sort of a thing it's gonna be good but if it is someone who injustly has done you something that you don't know a karmatic situation you're going to be victorious over this person okay so that's why I change up the order of the reading so a lot of people can know because um, different cards different energies comes up for different people there's a lot of people this is a general reading take what res um, resorts with ya with you and leave the rest okay because it doesn't have to be because um, it's a general reading center 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 of your reader is that some of you are on the surveillance some of you who have a child some of you who have a child that is an Aries D or Sagittarius, you need to pay some attention to this child um, and leave the worries about this child. Whatever is happening, leave the worries without this child. Okay. Some of you, um, if you're, if your mom, if your mom, because this is the Ace of Swords, is always about communication. The Ace of Swords is always about communication. Some of you, um, if you, your mom is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, you need to communicate with your mom. Okay, you need to call your mom. You need to communicate with your mom. If you, so if your mom is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, you need to communicate with your mom. Some of you, um, be aware of this woman because she could be creating. Um, some negative energies you could be working with negative energies so be aware of this so this person is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius now this person is in some um, situation but this person um, it could be that you need to advise your mom that she needs to find help to clear a negative energy away from her she herself can do it you can do it to her but she needs to find out because you're gonna find out that someone has done something to your mom okay and um, you're going to be trying to help to release this situation okay so that's for some people who um, realize when um, negative energies someone has sent some negative to your mom if your mom is um, if your mom is an 
Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, someone is she could be sending negative to you and your kids, or someone could have sent negative energies, but it has to do with the six of swords, it's always deception. Um, um, and um, you know, if this is someone who has done you something deceptive and Aries Leo or Sagittarius, because Seven of Swords is about lies and deception, and the Ace of Swords is here, it's like this person is on the surveillance. Okay, this person is on the surveillance, and they're listening to this person, they're realizing that this person is being very deceptive. Okay, so if you're dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarian. Um, you are going to be realizing that whatever is transpired, this person is on the surveillance, and um, you know, whatever it is, um, they're gonna find out the truth and they're going to be realizing what has transpired. Okay, all right, the king of swords, what's happening to the king of swords? Um, let's see what's happening to the king of swords because obviously. Um, you're going to a karmatic situation for you men 45 years and older. This is definitely a karmatic situation. You are also on the surveillance, okay? Mm. You're definitely on the surveillance, the king of swords. That is, um, you, um, people, you're on the surveillance also, and this is a karmatic situation. Now, um, you're going to be, you had some regrets of a situation, you have some regret, some sadness of a situation, definitely. Some definitely, and here it is: regrets and sadness of a situation. Okay, so um, you men, whatever the situation is, there's definitely you're on the surveillance, or someone is listening on your telephone, and people be aware. People can just buy software or co um, copy your number, or because uh, this is going on, um, and you people need to be aware that these telephone companies are working. Um, you need to be, uh, um, you know, be careful of people who works at telephone companies because they know how to do these sort of things. Because I, uh, you know, so be aware of this. Okay, people can be copying your number and listening to your telephone and on your telephone. So please be aware. Check your number, ladies and gentlemen. Whatever is going on, people are on your telephone. People are surveilling your telephone. Um, you, um, Aries, uh, you. Yeah, Aquarian. So be aware of this. Seven of Swords. There's lies and deception. You either you people are not being honest, or there's lies. You you know you. Whoopsie Daisy. Um. Okay. Um. Here you are. Um. Seven of Swords. Whatever the energy of the Seven of Swords is, the truth is going to come out. So whatever lies and deception that is going on with that is going on around you the truth is going to be coming out okay so some of you are doing um deceptive things okay but um it's like you are surveilling someone and the government is surveilling you or you're on the investigation so you're being surveilled so yeah i always say <laughs> Okay, eight of wands, eight of wands, seven of swords, truth is going to come out. All the people that was lying, lying people, the truth are going to be coming out. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. But um lying people, the truth are going to be coming out. God damn, all of you have to close up because the truth is gonna be coming out. Now, whatever the situation that is going on at home, okay. I am not seeing a huge celebration. Only some of you who are starting new jobs and starting new situations um, are going to be celebrating this new start. Situations at the home. Some of you, if your mom is a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, there is going to be some information coming to your mom. Your mom could be telling you also that someone is not your father. Okay. At home, be aware there are some negative energies and negative people and situation at home. The energy of the moon is here. These are your enemies, okay? And um, you're going to be finding out and seeing your enemies. Be careful. Protect your home because I'm seeing a situation here. you got to protect your home. Okay, some lies and deception. Um, they um, you know, be careful that you guys are not doing this energy because it comes over as if you guys are the ones who are doing this energy. This is kind of not beyond beyond you, Aquarians, but some of you Aquarians 
be careful that you're not doing this. Um, there is a situation at work, some some lies and deception at work, and God knows um, you're going to be sorry that you had gotten yourself involved. You're going to be seeing how deceptive people are or lie, the lies and deception of people. So some of you are going to be really happy as this end and that you get out. Okay, two of ones, there's an offer that is going to be coming in, and uh, that is good. Now the offer is... Um, a positive offer that is going to be coming in because once um, you know this is um, Aquarian this is the Gemini a Gemini could be offering you something so um, you know open up because a Gemini could really really be offering you something okay um, this is good because um, a Gemini could be offering you something um, some of you could be um, there could be a situation at the doctor meta metaphysic engineer and that sort of a thing um but you're going to be receiving an offer an offer is definitely coming in for some of you okay if you're a doctor or a metaphysic or that sort of a thing um i'm seeing an offer a new offer is going to be coming in for you okay career wise and um um, if you are in business and you listen to these general readings, you can ask for a business reading or work, career, and money. Okay, so um, you can ask for that. Okay, what else is coming up with this offer? Yeah, bam! Wonderful. A new offer is going to be coming in in work. Whatever the situation at work would work, a new offer is going to be coming in. Take it, take it, take it, and go with it. Okay. So, all right. Wonderful, wonderful reading. Um, it is going to be powerful. It's going to be good. Um, and we are going to be doing the two cards. Um. The nine of swords is the center of your week. So some of you are just letting go of the worries. Some of you decide, hey, I can't worry anymore. I'm just letting go of the worries. You know, whatever it is, whatever should be, um, you know, at work, be careful at work. If the situation with work that comes up, there is, if you're beginning a new job, be careful at work, okay? Because um, don't get friendly with everyone. Just take your time, be quiet, do your stuff, okay? Um, there is two cards. We're using the energy of the angels of abundance. So we are going to be having two cards. Choose one of these cards. It's a weekly reading. So choose one of these cards. If you choose the first card, you have pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. Okay. So Make yourself your most important financial obligation by setting aside a portion of your incomes every time you are paid. This loving form of self-care ensures that you will have savings to invest in your present, okay, and your future. So this is this is really wonderful. So if you choose the first card, it means that in this week going into this month, pay yourself first. Like put up a little bit to say of saving for yourself. Oh my god, it's 18 minutes. I can't do this. <laughs> Face your financial fears. Face your financial fears when you are honest with yourself and about the fears of success or failures. They can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears and release your fears in this week. Okay? A wonderful week. Oh my God. I love you guys. I gotta go. Bye.